hello my lovelies welcome back again to my youtube channel in today's video i'm going to show you how to use the cactus conditioner leave-in conditioner for hair growth on my daughter's hair i'm going to show you exactly how to use it you guys i've also shown you how to make the cactus leave-in conditioner cream for hair growth and uh you can watch that video in the description box below i'll put it in there so that you can go and check it out you guys please give this video a big thumbs up also like the video and comment below if you have any questions and let's get into it Welcome back lovelies. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe because on this channel, I share with you DIYs that have helped billions of people out there. Yes, I said the billions. <laughs> it has helped so many people to grow their natural hair. So if you're not subscribed, ciao, you're missing out on a lot. You have to click on that subscribe button and I'll give you two seconds to do that. I'm waiting. Have you subscribed? Child, I'm just waiting on you to click on the subscribe button. If you're a regular watcher, thank you so much for coming back again and supporting me, guys. I really appreciate you and may God richly bless you. May your hair grow to your telly bone. <laughs> All right, guys, so let's get started. So this is how to use cactus leaf in conditioner cream for hair growth. And I'm going to show you the three steps that I use to actually moisturize my daughter's hair using the cactus conditioner. I'm going to take my spray that I uh, made, the ginger and clove spray. If you want to see that video, I'll also leave it in the description box. You can go and check it out. So I've just applied the spray on the hair and this is the cactus leave-in conditioner cream that I am adding right now. Now you're going to see that I'm not going to be applying it on the scalp. The conditioner is not for the scalp. It's only for the hair. Now I'm going to work in the condition don't just put in and then rush to add something else on top no you have to work it in now as you can see those curls they are kind of popping chapalias <laughs> those curls are propping up so if you see that white residue don't worry uh, about it because it's just gonna fade away all right with time so don't worry about that now this is my shebe butter my shebe hair butter if you want to see that video i'll also leave it in the description box below please go and check out those videos because they they have uh, cha those videos will help you grow out your hair uh, look at how moisturized your hair is it's actually curling up you guys i'm telling you uh, <laughs> I really love and it was so soft and moisturized. So this is the LCB method. Oh. The L stands for the liquid, the C stands for the cream, and the B stands for the butter. So this is the LCB method to moisturize natural hair. So I'm just going to twist up her hair like that after applying the cactus leave-in conditioner cream on her hair. All right, guys, so I'm going to show you how it's looking like. Look at that, you guys, moisturized. The hair cannot even break when you moisturize it like this. This is not moisturized, and this is moisturized. You can see the difference. The moisturized one is more shiny. <laughs> All right, let's do the other one so that you really see how I moisturize using the cactus leave-in conditioner cream. Now, you guys, Shebe is amazing. Even if the hair is dry, if you touch it, very, very soft. It's very soft, you guys. So I've just applied the ginger and the cloth spray, and I'm going to add in the cactus leave-in conditioner cream and i'm going to work it in as you see me do in the video work it in you guys you don't have to rush there's no need to rush now you're going to take your butter if you don't have the shebe butter just use any butter that you have if you actually don't have the butter you can use oil to seal in the moisture but i would really recommend the shebe butter because it really really locks in that moisture like crazy so this is how i actually use 
um the cactus living conditioner you guys i just but make sure you guys please that when you're using this when you spray some spray in your hair before actually using the cactus living conditioner make sure that you don't put any water inside the conditioner because it goes bad quickly if you put any kind of liquid in the conditioner it quickly goes bad so do not do that now others actually ask me how to store the cactus living conditioner uh you put it in the refrigerator you don't have to put any preservative because the conditioner already has a preservative in it so you just put it in the re refrigerator and uh, refrigerate it for about one to two months um and you also have to continuously check it as well so you guys as i've said that you have to refrigerate this you don't have to put any preservative make sure that there's no water or no liquid getting inside your conditioner once the conditioner gets water in it it's going to get bad so just make sure that there's no water getting into your conditioner and also guys if you're using this cactus living conditioner you have to use it with the shebe guys because it leaves the hair super moisturized you guys but if you don't have it no need to worry just use oils as i've said before here guys i'm just going to leave you to watch till the end thank you so much if you have watched till the end please watch my aids as well this also helps my channel a lot you guys as i'm bringing more content helpful content to you also support me by watching my aids even if you don't finish watching the whole aid but here you can just support by watching half the aid that supports my channel now as you can see the hair is super moisturized you guys this is one of the best conditioners live in conditioners thank you so much guys for watching and i will see you in my next one please contact me in the comment section below if you have any further questions thank you once again god bless you and bye for now